how I imagine you 25 years ago. We yes. met. We met. That's a good story. This we should be a whole other video. <sighs> Do you want to talk about that now? Doesn't matter. I always like telling our story because it's so wonderful. Well, it will be our official anniversary oh. on Halloween. Yeah. Do okay. Let's do. Let's do a short story. Short story. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. <laughs> At what? What the, was the? No, it was actually here. I know, but that was. Cynthia Woods, Mitchell Pavilion. Yes. We saw each other from afar. Across a sea of people. And the year was 1997. <laughs> that yeah. sounds like so long 1997. ago. 1997. I was dragged to a concert. It was Leonard Skinner. <sighs> it was Leonard Skinner. We actually, yeah. That's when we first saw each other. So we... Both ended up going to a Leonard Skinner concert. And I saw him. And I, was like, and I saw her way far away, a gothic princess. But he was with another woman. I was with another girl, but we so weren't dating at him. the time. I was with a couple friends. Mm -hmm. One of them was an ex girlfriend. Anyways. But I wasn't dating her at the time. I left. And we both left, and that was that. I thought about you. I thought about you too. But. Strangely, yeah. when you got to this Leonard Skinner concert, when you walked in, somebody, I don't remember who, was giving out free concert tickets to Alice Cooper like the next week. The next week. Like as you got into the so venue, I took that ticket. They were like, Of course I'm going. Hey, do you want to go see Alice Cooper? And we were like, Sure. We were like, why not? Yeah. And uh, you ran into that person as well. Yes, when I left. They gave me oh, tickets weird. when I left. Okay, okay. I guess they still had some because maybe not that many people wanted to see Alice Cooper. Yeah. So I took my ticket. So we saw each other first at the Leonard Skinner concert. Yes. But we were very distant and far away. But I still noticed him. And I know. I definitely away. noticed her. And mm -hmm. then the next week, or maybe two weeks later. It was the next weekend. Okay, you know. Yeah, uh, it was August 27th. <laughs> we went to the Alice Cooper concert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I saw her again. And I saw him again. Yes. And there was no other girl. Yes. Just his guy friends. And I was hanging out with my buddy Charles. Shout out to Charles. Hey, Charles. And Charles goes to the bathroom before Alice Cooper comes on. Mm -hmm. There's a ton of people at this show. Like... Oh, yeah. Thousands of people. It yeah. It's a giant venue. Outdoor lawn venue. And he comes back from the bathroom. He's like, hey, man, that girl wants to talk to you. <laughs> you should I go over there. I grabbed him on the way to the bathroom and I was like, "Now, who's your friend? Does he have a girlfriend? And he was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, go tell him I want to talk to him. Now, you have to understand that Charles is the type to do something to get you into a situation that you wish you weren't in. <laughs> and so Charles comes up to me and he's like, hey, that girl you were checking out wants you to go talk to her. And this sounds like an exact story that Charles would tell me. So I'd walk over there and be a complete moron. And then I'd be walking back and Charles would be laughing his <laughs> ass off. It's, it just seemed like something he would do. He got me in trouble a lot. A good amount. Good times, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he comes up to me. He's like, hey, that girl wants to talk to you. And I was like, shut the fuck up. Like, like I'm going to believe you. And Charles is like, no, man, I'm serious. <laughs> she pulled me aside and said she wants you to go talk to her. I was like, that girl I've never met? And he's like, yeah, the girl from last time. Because I talked about you. And I, I remember being terrified and being like, well, I got to go see just in case, just in case it's true. 
And I walked through the sea of people over to the strange girl who I'd never met. And I don't remember what I said, but I imagine it was something like, oh, hi, pretty girl. Did, did you want to talk to me? No, you were way cooler than that. Do you I remember? don't remember exactly oh. what you said, but you weren't a doofus. I wasn't a doofus? No. I mean, this is like peak adolescence. We would have been we like... We were 14. We were 14 years old. Golly. Yeah. Oh, now <laughs> everybody knows how old we are. Don't, don't math that oh, out. Oh, well. And uh, then I sat down beside, beside you before the, before the show. Nobody's playing yet. Mm -hmm. And then we hung out and just talked oh, a little yeah. bit, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you had a drink. I had a drink? I think so. Maybe not. I, I might can't remember. Have. Maybe I did. I no, I didn't. Okay. I did not have a drink. I that would have been cooler if I did, you but were I didn't. Wearing, you were wearing that white top with the black bra. Yeah. And you could see the bra, bra through it. <laughs> My teenage mind has that burned in. <laughs> My parents were not there. Yes. Because I went there wearing a long sleeve shirt and blue overalls. So you couldn't see anything <laughs> I was wearing. Blue under, overalls. Uh, yeah, they I, were dark blue corduroy overalls. And as soon as we got in the car, I took it all off. And I was like, ah. You had a white go. kind of half seed through top. It was like, a, like a wife beater. Yeah. And then you had a black bra underneath. And I had on those tiny black shorts yeah. and those big black boots. Yeah, right up my alley. Mm -hmm. And so we sat and talked for a little while. Yeah. And then before Alice Cooper came on, she asked me, do you want to go to the bathroom with me? And as a 14-year-old boy, I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> but I knew that I wanted to go. <laughs> Wherever that was going to lead, I had no idea what that meant or why you would ask me to do that. Guys don't do that, I guess. Uh, no, I <laughs> literally never heard that term. Do you want to go to the bathroom with me? <laughs> but I was like, oh, okay. I did have to go to the bathroom. And so we walked through the crowd and we went to the bathroom. And I guess you went to the bathroom. I did not go into the bathroom with you. I just went and peed. You just went and peed. And then w there was a bench outside the bathroom. And we, you sat down there. And mm -hmm. I sat down with you. And we talked for a little while. And then I clearly remember you saying, what did you say? You don't remember? <laughs> we talked and talked and talked. And I was like thinking to myself, like, are we just going to talk all night long? And so then I was like, do you want to kiss me? <laughs> no, that's not how she phrased it. Oh, wow. How she did I phrased phrase it? it is, are you going to kiss me or what? <laughs> and again, I was like, oh, okay. <sighs> and we sat there on the bench. And we and made, made out. out through the entire Alice Cooper concert. We didn't we say never a saw him. single song. We didn't hear a single song. We didn't see an opening act. It Nothing. must have been two hours. We just sat on that bench and made out for two hours with a girl I had just met. Yeah. And look, here we are. And here we are. Who would have known? Who would have mm -hmm. thought? I remember at some point I met back and my parents were there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mine were not. But I met back up with my parents and friends mm -hmm. at some point. <laughs> like friends? What friends? Yeah. I totally bailed on them for the whole concert. <laughs> Charles must have been like. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember on the way home thinking, I'm never going to hear or see that girl ever again. And I, I gave was so him my sad. phone number. Yeah, I just didn't think, I don't know. You worried he about didn't that think stuff. I was real. Yeah. I remember rushing home the next day from school because I had to go to school the next day. And I rushed home and I called you first thing. Did I answer? I, I don't think you did. I think you called me back. This was way before cell phones. It was like answering machine. Beep. Mm. <laughs> she leave me a message. We didn't have an answering machine. Yeah. We hadn't. I think we did later on. And so we we lived on opposite sides of a b very big Houston. Yeah. And so and we, we ended only up. We got to see each other 
once on the weekends. Once on the weekends, our parents would meet and we do a little date or go to somebody's house and yeah, yeah, yeah. And then mm. we don't have to talk about we, anything we'll, else we'll, in between. We'll, we'll, yeah, the, we'll just leave it all nice. That's it. That's it. How it was and how it is. How <laughs> that that's gonna be the title of the thumbnail. How it was. How it was and how it is. And that's that. And how it came to be. I love you. <laughs> and now we have a whole family and everything. Now we have a whole family. Happily ever we'll have after. A little unhappily ever after. I'm happy. No, like it's got, so it's got to be like the opposite. Like Adam's family. Are you unhappy, dear? Oh, yes. So unhappy. Oh. See? Okay. You act like you've never seen the Adams family before. Okay, Morticia. I'm clearly Gomez. We're like the Adams couple, but our Opposite. personality is reversed. Mm. I'm very much the Morticia, and she's very much the fun loving Gomez. Dancing Gomez. Golbez. Golbez? Gomez. Gomez. That Golbez? Weird. That's a that's a Final Fantasy character you wouldn't realize. No, his name is Gomez. Gomez. Golbez is from Final Fantasy. I don't know anything about Final no. Fantasy. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Ten years. We've Since been married. we've been married. We've oh, been I'm married not even wearing my ring. Ten years. Fuck. You're not wearing yours either. Yeah. He lost his. I he lost has an excuse. Mine. They don't care about this shit. They only care about our story. They probably don't care about our story either. I really like hearing love stories. Oh, okay. So Maybe we'll get some of that female demographic. Yeah. Come on, girls. <laughs> give us you some need, love. You need to give a shout out. To who? To all the women. Do we have any women followers? I think there's a few. Girlfriends, shout out to you. Thanks for following us. Shout You're out, awesome. Shout out to true love. It does exist. It does. You need to give me a kiss or what? <laughs> <laughs> My lipstick all messed up. Nope. You don't. I don't get to ask that very often. <laughs> Good. Let's make sure it recorded. Oh my god. <laughs> the squeak is itchy.